Welcome to Farming Slanter 19. We are live here with the first look of this brand new game. This is very exciting. We will be starting out on the US map base and then we'll really uh, kind of get into farming for a bit today. And then we'll look at some of the interesting equipment which we'll be using a lot here on the channel. And we will also be looking at uh, the map going around, driving around, just really enjoying the first day here with FS19. I do appreciate all of the support on the previous FS17 videos up to this point. This is a brand new game and I'm very excited. So I think we'll start out here with a new farmer and we'll do the Ravenport here. Welcome to Ravenport. This is the American base, but they also do have the <laughs> European base. We'll take a look at it. You guys can see pretty cool castle up there. Next up, we'll do our character. Looks like this is good. And let's see, we'll get some glasses on him. And why don't we do the jacket? And let's do a uh, farming slinger hat. And looks like we do get the Mahindred Retriever. We'll take a look at that today. This looks to be the loading screen here. Now this is my first time playing this as well. We will be live tomorrow as well as the coming days. So if all of you guys are excited for it. <laughs> Welcome out to the stream if you guys are stopping by here for the first time. Now I will say I do have my Xbox One controller set up. Would you like to start with a guide? Why don't we do it and let's kind of see what happens. So we'll just kind of walk around, but take a look at these graphics. I did actually have my graphics set to 4K resolution, and then I decided to drop it down here for the stream. Uh, later on this week, we will do some multiplayer uh, streams. You guys will be able to hop in game. Are you happy about FS19? Yes, I am. So we'll just walk around as we are making our way over there to the dot uh, that is blinking. But take a look at the building. Very nice. And I believe that we could actually grind up these stumps as well. That is a pretty cool bonus. You guys can see uh, nice looking textures. We'll uh, turn off the time speed, uh, just set it to regular speed. Am I going to do a lawn care series? Yes, I will be doing one and hope all of you guys are excited. And we are coming up here on the farm. It looks like this here is an old case, uh, IH Pro 7210. But we will first be starting off with the combine it looks like. And you actually do get to build your own farms now. That is pretty neat. You can start out on a hardware, very little buildings. We'll take a look at everything today. This is the first look. And then starting tomorrow, we'll be getting right into some of the new series here in the brand new game. Pretty cool farm building. Take a look at the rustic look. That is pretty realistic for a farm. Looks like there's an old car here. Some scrap metal, just things that's left around. And over here, looks like this almost looks to be a garage. I'm not sure if we could open it up, but it looks like just a building. And then here is the farmhouse. Take a look at this, guys. It's a bit rustic, but that is okay. We will be doing a video with the homeowner series soon. And wow, take a look at that. You could actually sleep if you want to go through the night. Now, that is a great, great feature, and uh, that looks awesome. Now, from the looks of it, the map is very hilly. The game has just uh, come out on Steam. Uh, this looks to be a silo. Alright, let's hop over here in the combine. And let's kind of do our first bit of harvesting. Now, we will be doing a brand new series here as well. This looks to be a very old New Holland. 
Now the steering here in this game has changed and it's a bit more realistic, which is great. I think we'll try to uh, harvest this field. Now one thing is when we do drive over the grass, it will leave the tire tracks. I can't wait for that with the landscaping series and all of the cool series we'll be doing. You can change the steering settings. Yes, that is great. Thank you. And let me know, can we also uh, turn on manual ignition? I've been looking through the settings before I hopped in game here and on the stream. And I uh, haven't really found it. Like I have touched upon, we'll go through this farm tour and then we'll be taking a look at the map and some of the equipment here in this game we'll be using right off the bat for some of our series including landscaping and things like that. Uh, Scotty the Gamer, please let me know exactly where it is. I have looked in the main menu of the game and also uh, the save game menu. Yes, this is a brand new game. Very, very exciting. I can't wait for it. Now, we also do have it so that if you drive over it, it will get damaged. We'll do uh, probably a few more passes here and then it, uh, we'll switch over. Alright, so we'll just take a quick look at it here with a tractor, and, oh, the tractor's right here, so we'll take a quick look at it. There it is, thank you for uh, letting me know, and we want automatic start off, and just kind of going through these really quick. It does have auto save, which is nice, a very nice, I kind of like the see-through effect, that's a great feature. Yes, I will be doing a lawn care series and it will be starting very soon. This will be our last pass here and then we'll do a little bit of cultivating and seeding and then we'll get right off there. Now we will be live here for a very long time so we'll probably come back to it and this actually just came out on scene. One thing you guys can notice is there is wildlife. Now that is a great feature. It is going to get used to it hearing all of the wildlife sounds but it's an interesting addition. Yes, a lot of my series will be transferring over, and that's going to be awesome. And a lot of mods I uh, probably can see being brought over. Up next, let's do a little bit of cultivation here with the Case IH. It looks like we get two of the same tractors here. And one thing we get a lot more of here for starting out is money. Take a look at that $100,000 uh, we get. That is pretty nice. We do actually have a brand new HUD, which is great. What is my favorite tractor? Well, we will be taking a look here at John Deere in a bit, and those will be some very nice ones. And yes, I did watch all of the pretty cool videos. You guys can see all of the pedals do work, and that is a great feature. <laughs> now we do have like an almost air ride suspension as well, which is great.
We'll do a few more passes here, and like I've touched upon, I really want to get into looking at all of the vehicles from the skid steers to the new semi trucks and the new pickup truck, along with the John Deere tractors and everything. Think that's it here. We'll get out and walk around. Yes, I will be making a landscaping series. I pre-downloaded the game. We will be doing a whole new farming series with some pretty cool equipment. I just wanted to do a first look, look at everything the game has to offer and a little bit of farming which we are doing. Favorite feature so far is just having John Deere in the game. We'll hire this worker and let's kind of take a look here at the store. I want to just first start off here by buying a pickup truck. I want to buy it. We'll probably keep uh, the main color. Actually, it looks like we got to pick the main color first. Pick the main color. We'll do the dark red, one of my favorite colors, and we'll buy. We just kind of go take around and look at the map. Here is a brand new lizard pickup truck. Looks like we got some side steps here. Looks like a very interesting front end where you do a fog lights as well. These wheels are color changeable. A bit of detail on the tires. A little bit of suspension. Looks like we do a small mud flaps. Looks like we got a little bar here. And we also do have uh, straps there in the bed. And also this truck, when you press X, the tailgate will go down. And there's a new light method. Now, that is some pretty awesome lights. They definitely uh, look pretty awesome. Nice looking truck. And on the first person view, a pretty awesome, nice digital dash. And great uh, pickup truck. So we'll go around, take a look here at the map. And then we'll kind of see what's uh, happening. Looks like the truck also does have a bed liner, which is great. And we are actually here at the store now. This map is pretty hilly, I have noticed right off the start. That's like the back side of the shop. We do have a lift here. This is where you must sell. Yep, that's pretty nice. Looks to be a house over here. Wow, that looks awesome. We got trains working and we could tab into them as well. Coming up here on a house, whoa, that nice looking house, a little bit of wear and tear on it. Coming up on a second house. Looks like a little office building.
nice small house there and that's actually a pretty cool house with a nice patio Yes, I will be doing a logging series and all of them. We're just checking out the town. We will be doing some pretty awesome videos here in the town as well. I actually see a nice house up here. We'll get out and we'll walk around. Yes, I will be making mods for the game. We got a house there and looks like a warehouse area. Let's just check out and see. Can we pick these uh, trash barrels up? Too heavy. Uh, lots and lots of wear and tear. Pretty nice fence though, like that. And we got a pretty cool grill. Wow, that's awesome. Once again, it's too heavy. They actually have moved the uh, area. Let's see, can we pick it up? Uh, that's also too heavy. Yes, I will be doing a public works uh, series. Alright, let's head back over to the store and we'll take a look at some of the coolest things about the new game, including the new skid steers. Nice gas station. You could rotate things when you pick it up. That is pretty cool. So I first want to look here at the skid steers. We'll come over here. We have two new Holland Skid Series, the L218 and the C232, uh, I mean. And we'll just lease these so that we could spread the 53,000 across some equipment. And I will take a look at everything the Skid Steer has. And I will definitely do videos like on these. But for now, we'll just take a look at, we'll, we'll get a bucket. Now you could also change the color of that as well, which is great. And the skid steer is right here. So this is the wheeled skid loader. We'll be using this quite a lot in uh, landscaping videos. Yes, I have gotten snow. You guys take a look at this 2000 series. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. Ooh, uh, check out the lights. Now you guys can see the hoses as well. The hoses are pretty realistic. Pretty big bucket, I will have to say, for a skid loader, and that's great. Definitely a much bigger bucket than FS17. Wow, a very nice skid steer. Just trying to check it out. Let's see how high it reaches. Not that bad. Unloading, though, at full capacity is a bit tricky. Overall, it looks pretty nice. Up next, we are going to be taking a look here at this. This will be a bit pricey to lease, but we are going to do it. We got to take a look at this mower. We actually used a mower like this before in uh, FS15. Uh, a little bit different design, but I just wanted to buy this and check it out. All the joysticks do work. Play Forza, yes, we will be playing Forza again. Wow, the hydraulics on this are pretty quick. Are you on PC? Yes, I am, but I will be getting it also for the Xbox. 
Up next, we'll take a look here at the old pickup truck. I think we'll do it in dark blue just to try out some different colors. Now, this is a 1978. That's a pretty old truck, and that's roughly uh, almost 40 years old, even uh, even older than that. So, wow, uh, that is old. Here it is, looks to be a regular cab here with the eight foot bed. It, that is pretty realistic. The cool cab started to become more popular in the recent years. Nice tailgate, it does go down a little bit extra and everything works there. Now you could get a radio here in the game. I do have it turned off. Check out the lights. Now the lights are a big improvement as well. nice looking truck up next we'll be taking a look here at the uh, retriever now you do get this i believe with a pre-order bonus which i did get on steam i just keep coming back here to the skid steer probably one of the best skid steers i've seen from giants and it's nice uh the, the jcb was actually from 15 dlc brought over so it's nice to have that now this can go down like that let's see what else can we do and you could fasten Pretty awesome, I will have to say. Now, let me know, how do you get the John Deere Gator? I did see the Gator, and I do have the pre-order version. So, let me know how I get the John Deere Gator. That's a very nice looking one. Everything works there. Yeah, I have been looking here for the Gator, and I just uh, am not able to find it. We have to try out the bigger skid steer. It is a really nice looking one. And let's try out another attachment for it while we are at it. We'll tr looks like all of these don't have brands on them and that's a great feature. <laughs> yes, all of these are pretty much uh, the same, just no logo. The stream is laggy. Yes, I do apologize. I will be increasing the stream quality. And take a look at that. Wow, that's a little bit on the size difference. It is a bit bigger of a machine. Yep. And it definitely has to reach higher. But one thing I'm not really a fan of is those extra lights on it. Whoa, that has a very high reach. And this one definitely does not have the same. Ooh, it is, uh, yeah, it's a pretty big difference there. It does have a logo on them, yes, but it's not as like it was back in uh, 15, how it's back in 17, how it said uh, JCB on it. You guys can see it does have the logo there, but it's not uh, like a branded New Holland one, which is great because we'll be using this with a few different ones. Let's see, can we actually slide those back and forth? Nope. Next up, uh, we'll take a look at it, and we uh, have pallets here, objects. Let's take a look here at the farmhouses. There's only one, 350,000 it is for that. We'll take a look here at the buildings really quick. Yeah, these are just to, to kind of fill up the farm. Miscellaneous, we got the pressure washer, which is nice. Animal pens, we could actually place them ourselves. Dog house, we'll, we'll get a dog. I don't see a horse fence, so we'll have to figure that out. Now, there are some different silos we could get, and only three sheds. So, it does have some nice things uh, for those. Let's take a quick look here. What else can we take a look at? And we, we got to take a look at the John Deere's as well. We got to try out these semi trucks. Now, there is quite a lot more American trucks here in the game, which is great.
here is the American truck. Now we do have the same logo, uh, same low boy, I mean, from FS15. Nice looking lights. I want a Bobcat. Yes, that would be pretty cool. Hopefully we could get one uh, in the game very soon. Nice looking truck. Just looking at everything we come with looks like they give you a silo. Even the farmhouse. Wow, that's pretty nice of them. And I think for now, we cannot sell anything until we do the tour. Let's see, what else would they like us to do? I don't really see anything there. Let's see if we could return these. How are you? My day's going good so far, and I'm doing well. How are you guys doing? Let's see what we do with these leased equipment because we no longer need them and we'll give it a try. Do you get money? No, you do not get money from returning. That is interesting. Actually, while we are down here, we'll take a look at the beach. Nice concrete textures. We'll speed up time now, and we'll just kind of see what happens throughout the day. Looks pretty nice here at the beach. There's a boat out there. You guys can see the realistic clouds. That's pretty nice. Yes, I will be making mods for the PC, and I will also be getting an uh, Xbox edition. Let's see what this is. Oh, it just wants us to kind of go through everything here. Is it coming to Xbox One? Yes, it is. And the release date is the 20th. We actually get it a little early on uh, Steam. And this gets in the way, I see. So we'll, we'll move the track right away. Now, the more we drive on like the road, the tires will get cleaned. I think that's it for the farm tour. And we are not done here with a tour. Hmm. We'll take a look here to see what everything has.
and we could actually buy land so take a look at that we own that land you could click on it you could buy it let's see how much whoa 1.2 million so i mean th that's pretty nice you buy land instead of field that way you can modify them you could buy two and then combine it into one and that is great oh you could actually buy parts of the town that's pretty cool can you buy whoa uh we'll be doing some forestry things with that as well That is awesome how you could do that. Now that's probably a good forestry area. Another forestry area. That's great uh, how you could buy the land. That's pretty cool. Instead of buying fields, more than likely we'll buy the land. But what I'm thinking about doing now is let's exit the game and let's see what Q will do. Nope. Oh, here we go. We'll exit the game and we'll take a look at the European map. Go back and clear. Save game two. I think we'll start out with New Farmer again. And we'll just kind of check out this map here on a tour. And let's see what we can do. Actually, we'll take the vest off, take the sunglasses off. And why don't we take the hat off? This is definitely the new way to do it. So there will be quite a lot more. Yes, I will be getting mods for this game once it comes out. Here we are on the European map. Let's take a close look at what this map has to offer. So it looks like we do get a different tractor here for the start out, and that is pretty cool. It could be because Case is more American, not exactly sure. Whoa, that's a pretty cool farm tool there. Nice flowers, actually. Wow, pretty nice detail. Now it looks like there is one house in either a map. Let's see, we can't open that, but we could sleep. And over here, whoa, take a look at the kitchen. Wow, that's awesome. Looks like we got a garage here, no garage door pots. We are we able to pick these up? Yes, we are. That's pretty cool. We do have to check out the chainsaw. We have to do that today as well. Let's see what this says. Oh, that's nice. And, ooh, oh, looks like we got a train. Whoa, way up high. And you guys didn't see the map. It's pretty hilly. Interesting train. So what I want to do right off the bat is to get a truck. And like I've touched on, we got to check out the chainsaw as well today. But for now, I think main color will do black on that's chrome i believe so we'll do black on black and we'll see what this will look like not that bad of a truck and we are here at the store wow that's oh take a look at this building that looks awesome That is a great idea. We'll take a look at the John Deere. Now, not all the trees are straight as well. That That's uh, definitely realistic. So that's the farm. It's oh, very close to the store. That's nice. Now, this truck has a top speed of 75 miles per hour, and we are getting it moving. Now, you guys can see these are the new grass textures. They look pretty nice. Looks like we got a nice gated house over there. 
And here is a forest, so why don't we uh, cut down one of these trees and kind of see now. You guys, since they do have wood that are kind of falling down here, that's great. Uh, that's uh, pretty realistic. And they do have stumps. Now, that is a great feature. I haven't seen that before. You could actually grind those up. What we are going to do is we are going to cut this tree down and we're going to do it for the first time. Chainsaws and we have uh, the same brands. And we can't buy land, but you could actually do it that way. So that is interesting. We can't buy the land. Oh, uh, we can't cut trees unless you own it. That is uh, definitely good to know. Alright, now it's time to look at the John Deere. Just checking out the equipment. Let's see what's over here. And there's a different farmhouse. Yep, different farmhouse for being not on the American map. Let's see, do they have a small John Deere? Looks like they don't. Medium tractors, they have one here. And this is another great feature. This is definitely probably one of the best features about it. So let's see what this will do. So that adds the weight on them. Wow, that's awesome. Look at that. Adds a little bit of weight. Keeps going up. Wheel setup. Big wheels. Skinny. Ooh, that. That's a great setup right there. It looks so, so nice. Engine. You can actually... Whoa. Let's see. Can you change? That's awesome to get those wheels. That's a great feature. But for now, we'll go back to these. And let's do that. Let's see. Lease for 10000 bucks. That is a bit pricey, but that's okay. Here's a tractor. First time in a John Deere tractor in this game. We got air ride seat. The brake pedals work. Everything. Wow, that's awesome. Nice looking tractor as well. In the store, we got another one. We could get the front loader attachment on this one. That's pretty cool. Large ones. We got one there. And we actually have this one. I want to check this one out. This is, where is it? Right here. You could add the weight on it. Wheel setup. You could get the tracks that are wider or the narrow. Let's see, is there anything else? Nope. You could get a different engine. And we don't have enough money for it. So let's kind of see what can we do really quick to sell something. Ooh, look at that. You could actually sell the buildings and be left with none. We also have that new challenger. Ooh, we got two of them. Those lights look awesome. Let's check out the beacon lights. Now I do have the realistic beacon lights on. Has really good handling. We gotta take a look at the new uh, Kamatsu. Not really a fan of those tracks. Let's see, can you change the color? Hmm. 
No, oh, it looks like you just like reinforced them. We'll lease this. Bit pricey to lease, but uh, this is actually I really do like that bar on the back. That that's pretty realistic. Now, one thing I did here is they self level, and that is such such a great feature about the new forestry is that they just self level. That's great. It comes in very handy, I will have to say. And take a look at those hoses. You rotate the eight, that all the way around. Pretty interesting to have that steering wheel here. I wonder what that's used for. It's time for some shouts. So drop your names down below. We actually only have one wheel loader in this game. Now you could get Michelin uh, or the other brands as well. That's actually, we'll go with a Michelin. Definitely uh, kind of like the blacked out wheels on it. Great first person view. Now let's check out the buckets for this as well. We'll take a look at those. So, uh, let's see. Where? Wheel loader? Oh, it's pretty much the same things. They actually do have an animal tray that we should buy and check out. But we'll just put it to black and we'll take a look at it. Looks like it does come with wheel chocks. Shout out to Scotty the Gamer, Lego Boss, Harry, Liam, Ethan. That is a nice horse trailer. Whoa, that, that looks nice. But you guys didn't see the wheel chocks. So, I mean, that's a great feature. It does help make sure that it doesn't roll. Uh, that is pretty nice. We actually do have a brand new, uh, take a look at this, this is brand new. Definitely reaches pretty high up and that's great, looks like only one hydro out there. That looks great. And the last one we'll try is the forklift. One beacon light, you guys can see that. The wheels uh, stay, that's a great feature. Uh, pretty nice What about the John Deere harvester? That is a great idea. Why don't we take a look at the harvester and then we'll call it a day and we'll Look at the s90 We definitely got to get the twin wheels on it. That looks the best Here it is this looks awesome Now one thing is you actually have to get in some of these on the correct side. That is, that adds to the realism. Looks pretty cool. 
show the transport trucks I did show it a little bit earlier today. I do appreciate all of you guys stopping by and checking out our first live stream here in FS19. Stay tuned for a video tomorrow morning where we will be starting off with our brand new series. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and subscribe for more.